How's everybody feeling this afternoon? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Right. The reason that we celebrate um, Black History Month is to show the contributions that Black people um, of the African diaspora has um, contributed to society. And one of the gifts that uh, they have contributed is the gift of music. Um, music originated in Africa. Uh, way back at the time when they were just on drums. It was a way of communicating from village to village, from tribe to tribe. They didn't have iPhones back then, so <laughs> they sent their messages through, um, through the beats. Now there's a saying that what the drummer beats is not the message, it's the space in between. I call that the soul. And it's through that that the message is given. This song that I wrote called Beautiful Music is to honor that, to honor the beginning of time um, and the, the uh, musical origins. It's called Beautiful Music for Beautiful People. And it's not necessarily the outside beauty, but the inside beauty, the spirit, the soul. So without further ado, this is Beautiful Music. Thank you. 
fair match. All right, so we're going to take you on a musical journey through the history of um, music in America, black music in America, where it started. We're going to start with uh, a song they call a Negro spiritual. It's from the 1900s, and um, around that time, during the time of slavery, um, when the Africans were in bondage, they would sing these Negro spirituals out in the fields to help them spiritually carry them through um, what, they, the, what they were going through. This song is called uh, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, and it's a song by a gentleman by the name of Wallace Willis, who's from Oklahoma, and uh, he wrote this song. George Gershwin, 
um, for the first sort of Broadway classical Negro play called uh, Porgy and Bess, which was um, about a beggar in Charleston. And um, the, this was the first Broadway that was uh, done by, or the choral was the first uh, classically trained um, black Americans uh, to hit the Broadway stage. And um, also the conductor on it went down to, went to win the international distinction of professional choral conductor. She was the first um, female black American to do so. Anyway, this song is called Summertime. Have you heard it? Has anybody heard it? Summertime? Okay. All right, so this is a first.
music evolved into something called R&B, Rhythm and Blues. This next song is by a gentleman by the name of Ray Charles. Anybody familiar with Ray Charles? Wonderful. This song is called Hit the Road Jack. And if you know it, I'd love for you to sing along with me. Just think of anybody who's ever teed you off. Okay? <laughs> right, it's called Hit the Road by Ray Charles. Thank you. 